to make a fun little Valentine's screen like this, you will need several things. Let me show you. If you've ordered a kit from me, it will have two Thermofax screens and a piece of foil and one ounce of adhesive for the foil. All right, those screens have these lovely designs on them and they're not taped. You will need to tape them with duct tape so that they are stabilized so they don't curl up and flop around quite so much and you see the link right here for how to do that. Next you will need fabric washed, ironed, and dried. I'm using an opaque white textile paint. This is by Pro Chemical and Dye. I love the thick consistency of it. The black I'll be using is a set of color transparent. I just happen to have it on hand. It works very well also. I'm using a hotel key card or gift card or whatever I've got for a squeegee. I use a spoon to scoop things out. And a ruler and chalk or pencil are optional tools. I'll show you what we use those for later. All right, set up your print surface. I am using a hard table with felt and a layer of canvas on it. Smooth out your cloth. Make sure it doesn't have any stringy bits on it. And then the first thing we're going to do is lay down our heart with wings. That's going to be our first layer. Open the jar, make sure it's all nice and stirred. And it should be thick like pudding. That's the nicest, easiest consistency to work with. Spread out a glob of paint. Now you can tape your cloth and tape your screen down if you're worried about it moving. I'm just going to go for it and then gently peel it up and there is our first layer. You don't want to waste all this paint on the screen so scrape it up, lay that aside and scrape it gently back into the jar and then I suggest you immediately go wash the screen out under cold rubbing water. Use an old toothbrush or a fingernail scrubber or a sponge just to get all of the paint off. If the paint dries in the screen, it will be ruined. Once your first layer is dry, it's great to iron it to heat set that textile paint. And we're ready to add our foil glue, an adhesive that is heat sensitive that lets that shiny, wonderful foil stick. I'm going to use a screen that's been made out of this and because I'm going to want to register it, I'm going to want that image to lay right over the top of that. I am going to make little marks at the top and bottom of my fabric that I can see. And I've used a Sharpie to draw right over the top of the screen, not while it's on here of course, but that way I can then line up these two top and bottom and get them pretty much in the same area. And then it's the same deal. You treat your textile ad foil adhesive just like you would paint. This is why it's useful to have a cookie sheet to lay all your junk on. And then, since this one's a little bit skinnier, I'm going to use the skinny side. And there it is. I'm going to go ahead and do one foiled alone without the paint of the adhesive so that you can see what it looks like by itself on the cloth. And we do the same thing here. Scoop up as much as that glue as you can. Scrape it back into your jar. Quickly go wash out your screen. The glue dries a little bit faster than the paint, so please don't let it dry in your screen. Scrub out the screen with water. It doesn't matter if it's warm or cold. And then don't lay the screens down flat to dry. Let a little bit of air circul circulate 
with it. If you lay two screens to dry flat against each other, especially if they are on the emulsion side, they will stick as they dry and the emulsion will peel off. So I'm going to go wash this screen. Now comes the fun part, putting on the foil. I find it easier to work with a smaller piece of foil when my design is not too large, so go ahead and trim it. Here's the piece with the foil glue over the paint, and here's the one all by itself. Foil is a color on a sheet of acetate. The silver isn't the color of the foil, the gold is. This is a little counterintuitive, but you need to see the color, so you put color side up. And then take your iron, it's just a little bit hot, and gently scrape with the edge. You need a hard surface, that's why I'm using the cookie sheet. You can put parchment over your image if you'd like to protect the acetate from melting. You don't want to put the iron flat down on the acetate or it will completely melt. And the actual pressure of the edge of the iron helps it. Now I've been talking because you do have to let this cool before you peel it off. And there you go. Now some of the foil is off, but there's still lots and lots of usable foil on this piece. So you can just move it around. And if you want to see something really funny, you can use and use and use that foil till every bit of it's gone by just moving it around and around and continuing to use it up. All right, we'll let this cool. You can see a little bit where the design is. And then as you peel it, Voila. Now, I didn't get very much on this little bit, so I'm just going to move the foil and scrape it over on that little bit that I missed before. A little bit more up here. Let it cool first, and then it rips off much more easily. All right. This is a very detailed design, so some of the foil is stuck in between, and as I rub it, it comes off of the parts that don't have foil, and you get a nice crisp image. You've got little sparkly bits, but when you shake it off and when you wash this, it is permanent and washable. Those little bits that aren't adhered will come off. So here's our foiled piece, all nice and done. I had an idea for all of those little bits. I just found a paintbrush and brushed them off and the sparkles were all gone there. This is how the piece turned out without any paint under it. Nice and clear and clean and crisp. You can see how the foil really pops, especially on dark cloth. For this one, since it's a little mushy, I thought I would put another layer of black on top of it. Again, I can register my lines if I'd like to. Since the screen is clean and I'm only going to do one print, I can see through it to match where my screen is going to lie up. And now, again, just a little bit of black paint. Spread it out so it's wider than your image. Give it a squeege. And there you go. That gives it a nice little kind of maybe an antique look. I don't know. I think it's pretty with a black on top of a foil. Thank you for joining me. You can find more screens and instruction at lyriccanard.com.